from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to share some of the codes that I use to customize the text and buttons for my on-page image types. To be super duper clear, this is not a tutorial about gallery images. This is a tutorial about the on-page image blocks like inline, poster, card, stack, overlap, and collage. So there's six different types of these on-page images. Um, inline images can have a caption and the other five types can have a title, a subtitle, and a button. So in Squarespace 7.1, you have a lot of different options for text and colors, which I'm going to walk you through. And then for some added customization, we're going to check out some of the CSS codes that I use to make them even cooler than what we can do with the standard design site styles menus. Okay. So also I wanted to mention this is not for Squarespace 7. If you're using a Brine or Bedford or Pacific, any of the Squarespace 7 websites, you need to watch my tutorial specific for that interface. A link for it is beneath the video in the description, okay? So if you're using the brand new interface Squarespace 7.1, you're in the right place. Let's hop into my demo site and take a look. So here we are in my demo site and you can see I have all of the six different types of on-page images laid out here. I'm going to show you really quickly. I'm going to select edit and then this is how we actually add those image types by clicking on the little droplet and selecting image. You can upload a new image, pick one from Unsplash and then over here on design, this is where you can choose one of the six different types. I'll go ahead and click cancel and remove that because we already have all of the image types on this page already. So let's take a look at the design options that we have. Over in the design menu, if we select image blocks right here, this is where we can actually change a lot of the sizing and padding. If we wanna change the alignment, if we wanna change how big the image is, image title separation, button separation, all of that magic. Anything that has to do with sizes, you're gonna to wanna to use this styles menu here. So that's under design and then image blocks right here. So let's talk about the colors because we can change those as well. If you select colors and then click into whatever theme you're using, I happen to be using the default theme for this page right here. I'll select that little edit icon and you can see if we scroll down, we have the options for changing all of the titles, subtitles, links, backgrounds, overlays, everything here for each different type of image. So let's scroll down here. We've got like the collage image right here. If I want to change that card background, I can grab one of the colors that's currently in my color palette, or I can even put my own hex color code, HSL, RGBA, all that magic, change it to whatever I'd like using this menu here. So if you're going to change the color, try and do it here in the site styles menu. So it'll be set with the standard CSS file that goes along with your website. And if you're not using your default color theme, you can select whatever theme you are using from the drop down here. Okay. All right. Now let's talk about the different font types in the font menu. You don't really have the option to change the different fonts for these, for these images here. And I'll show you exactly why. If we select edit again, you'll notice if I click into any of these images, I can assign whatever text type I'd like extra large heading, medium paragraph, small paragraph, works the same for all of these. I can pick any of these different text types. So let's say I want to pick that one there. That one's a small heading. You've got all of your options completely customizable with your standard text types, extra large, large, medium, and small headings, large paragraph, medium paragraph, small paragraph, and monospace if you want to be boring. So <laughs> those are your options there. I'll go ahead and select save because there's so much more that you can do with these image types. While those are your main editing options within the Squarespace system, we have some really cool CSS codes to go over today. So I'm going to go back here. You'll notice we're on our main menu. If we select design and then scroll down to custom CSS, this is where we can start to get really creative. Let's say you like these image buttons, but you want them to be that rounded pill button shape. We can totally do that. If we type in the text image button a, the a being for active link, we can add a border radius of let's say 35 pixels and now you'll see all of the buttons have actually changed how cool is that so if we'd like to specify this just for a card image for example we can do that as well all we have to do is start this code with design dash layout dash card and now just the card image is going to have that pill shaped button all of the other ones are going to stay exactly the same so that's a cool option for you right there 
Now we can't change these uh, button text types like we can the other text types. So using that same particular code, we can do interesting things like let's say text transform uppercase if we want it to be all capital letters, except I'll spell it correctly. There we go. So now that card image button is now an uppercase text. So anytime you wanna make a text change to just the button specifically, you can do that using this code for either all image buttons with just the code image dash button A for an active link, or you can specify the specific layout. In this example, it's card. We can change that text card to say collage. And now just the collage image button is going to get that particular style. So that works for the titles, subtitles, and buttons as well. And if you'd like to change the image itself, like maybe give it rounded edges, you can do that too. Instead of image dash button, you can just say IMG. And now I'm gonna get a border radius on that particular image. We've specified design, layout, collage, and then IMG meaning the image. So we can apply this to, what's this one over here? The stack image, let's do that one. We change that text to stack. Now my stack image gets that rounded corner. So again, you can specify by image type, try and use the design menu for any color changes you need to make. But if you wanna change button text or any of the text styles outside of the normal text style options, you can specify in CSS. Now an outline of these codes for you again. What you can specify is the title, the subtitle, and the button. You can also specify the image itself and then you can specify which type of image. You can have this code apply to all of the image blocks that are out there, or you can say specifically just inline, poster, card, collage, stack, or overlap, okay? So it is a pretty big list of titles. I've written all of them out for you. Uh, there's a link in the description on how to get your hands on that list, but that's the basic premise for this tutorial and how to edit those different image text types in your Squarespace 7.1 website. So thank you so much for watching. If you like learning about CSS for Squarespace, be sure to subscribe because I post a new tutorial every Tuesday. That's it for this one, so I'll go ahead and sign off. But most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.